Welcome everybody, Alpha Galaxy here once again. So I wanted to kind of do a video on what not to get rid of when you're starting out. Because there's, you could be like me and save everything. But it comes to a point where you only have so much room in your chest when you start off. So then you gotta make the choice of what to get rid of and what to keep and you're not far enough uh, along then you're gonna have to make some decisions of what are you gonna sell so we're gonna go take a look at what are called the bundles now if you're just starting out you might not really know too much about these yet but that's why this is great because if you start doing this now then come later on when you're higher level and stuff and you have them unlocked you'll be able to do them. So we're gonna head there right now. All right, here we go. Now the other side of this that you might be, you you may be the person who sells everything and anything. And if that's the case, you may accidentally sell something that was really hard to get, like heart drop lilies, heat roots. You don't wanna sell those things. Those things are, Hard to find. Um, berry cloves, that's another one that's really tough to find. It's used for some high level recipes. So, please don't get distracted. Don't get distracted, bug. You're distracting me. Focus, focus, focus. That is basically me every time I try to run through a field. Sorry, Chop, but we have things to do. <laughs> but there are a lot of items that you can find early in the game and, and accidentally sell. Um, anything that's starred. Yes, they sell for more, but starred items are the only thing that you can display at your house. So maybe there's a cool rainbow colored dra uh, grasshopper that you find, or praying mantis, the rainbow colored praying mantis. And you accidentally sell that and it's starred. You could have displayed it. And you might have just been like, ah, money, 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 and I'm going to make money. <laughs> All right, so here's the bundles. Um, right now, there's only three of them out. Each check mark has certain items that you are going to need to collect. And then you put them in the bundle by sliding this little thing over. And then it will take the item. And you get rewards for this. But here are the items you do not want to sell when you're first playing. Because they will you'll be able to use them later on down the road. So the first one is the Garden Mantis. You can find this down by the docks. Vampire Crab you find at night time in the flooded temples in Bahari. Mutated Angler you can get with glowworms in the cave in Bahari. And the Void Ray is also something you get in the cave in Bahari. Next, we have the Inky Dragonfly. You can get this in Bahari by the rivers. Trout Dinner you have to make. Hydro... Hydrate Pro Fertilizer. I believe you buy this from Zeki's shop. Um, or actually, no, you get this from the, the farmer there. Giant Goldfish, you can get at your house. Any pond, you can fish in your pond at the house and get the um, Giant Goldfish with Glowworms. Next is the Beach Bundle. Green Pearl, you get from opening um, the oysters down at Bahari Beach. Striped snail you get at nighttime at Bahari at the beach. Blue marlin I believe is worms at Bahari Bay. And then sushi you have to make. Next we got the fisherman brew which you can make at your camp at the campfire. Enchanted pupper puff. <laughs> Enchanted pupfish is a uh, Glowworms at the regular ocean there, uh, down near the robot at the docks. Shimmer and Fin is you use worms and you get that at the dock too. Long nose unicorn fish. This is glowworms at Bahari Bay between the hours of six and six during the day only. You cannot catch it at nighttime. And that's at Bahari Bay. It takes about, God, 
50 to 100 glowworms, sometimes 200 glowworms. It can be quite a bit, but it's a lot better than I think it was. Radiant sunfish. I believe you catch that with worms in Kilma Village in the rivers. Flame tongue ray you get with glowworms out of the rivers. Striped surgeon you get with worms um, at the ocean in Kilma near the docks. I believe it's at nighttime, I think. Dawn ray you get with no worms, just a hook. Um, between 3 and 6 in the morning in Bahari Rivers. Fire-breathing dragonfly. You get in mirror fields, I believe during like dusk or dawn. Usually it's at dusk. I usually find quite a few of them. Spitfire cicada is in Bahari. Um, I usually find this in the very beginning area. Um, where when you first walk in, kind of on the juniper trees, you can find this during the day. Bahari glow bug, you can find these in Bahari at nighttime. This is a quest, you can look up later on. Heat root, you find in Bahari on the cliff sides. This is some food you can make, food you can make. Dairy cloves, sometimes you get this from quests, and sometimes you can find it in Bahari. That's that one. And now for the last one. Rainbow Trout. You get with Worms in Kilma Rivers. Thundering Eel. I think you, you get with Worms in Bahari River. You have to use Worms to get it in uh, Bahari River. Kilma Stingray is Glow Worms in uh, the docks near the Kilma Kilma Ocean. Storm Ray. I think this is Glow Worms. At, glow Worms at nighttime in Bahari. I'm pretty sure that's right. And you can cook some delicious pies. Nom, nom, nom. And then Fairy Wind Bundle. Jewel Wing Dragonfly. That is... Usually you can find it in the front of the caves between 3 and 6 in the morning um, or da uh, at dawn. I think that's between 6 and 9 near caves, cave entrances. Um, I found mine on top of the... in Bahari on top of the mines. I found several there. Um, Gasimir Veal Moth. Found in the fields of Kilma during the evening and night. Golden Glory Bee. Uh has a chance to be found when chopping trees in Kilma during the morning and daytime. And then the rainbow tip butterfly, I used lures for this, um, found in the fields of Bahari Bay during the morning and day. I, I did this in the fields, uh, and it worked well. I found a couple of them there. And that's it. So those are, <laughs> I know that's a lot of information, but those are all the items you're going to want to find and save everything else you you can sell i mean unless it's like a cool starred item or a um starred ancient fish which you only unlock the ancient fish when you complete one of these bundles and then the ancient fish gets added to the pool of fish you can get in the kilma ocean area near the docks um so yeah it, there's a lot of really cool things you can get and keep but as you can see there's there's a lot of items here so it's definitely important um to save whatever ones you can now so when it comes to at completing the bundles and unlocking things it'll be a lot easier like and you don't want to accidentally throw away a cool like starred ancient fish or if you get a starred longhorn or long nose unicorn fish like i did I ended up fishing for a second one because I just knew that that was probably pretty rare to get. So, yeah, there you have it. Lots of information, but I hope it helps. If you have any questions or if you need any help, let me know in the comments below. I play pretty often and I'm happy to help anybody out. So, you guys have a wonderful day and a, and a happy new year.
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe here to catch my latest videos on YouTube and over here on Twitch where you can catch my live streams every week. Thanks for watching.